We're always looking at maximizing the space in our homes, trying to create new living space, but sometimes we neglect our gardens and the potential that it has. So say something like a patio area, well, that's a fantastic dining room. Now, it may seem like a big task, but stick with me. I'll walk you through it step by step. Stage one of building your patio is first of all to decide how big you want it and where you're going to put it in your garden. So a little thing we had to consider was the fact that we've got this tree here and we don't want the roots possibly lifting up our patio. So we just made sure it was further enough away that it wouldn't be affected by that. We've gone for a three meter square, which we probably get a dining table and maybe even a barbecue in here, but feel free to get your furniture and actually lay it out and that'll give you a true idea of whether this is gonna be big enough for you. Next thing we do is mark it out with a builder's line. Just a piece of string, and that's run from corner to corner with some little wooden pegs. Next bit for the hard work, start digging. That's our base pretty much dug out now. We've gone down about 150 mil, and that's about six inches. The reason we do that is it allows us to get in a base layer of scalpins. This is the important part now. This is where we get it level. Cut yourself a couple of small pieces of wood like this. Same ones as we were using for the corners. Drive it into the hole, into our base layer. Approximately for this, we've gone for 80 mil, okay? That'll give us enough of a solid foundation for our patio. So get yourself a lump hammer anywhere in the base, drive it in. Okay, and then we find our level. Now through this, repeat this around the base, and then when you drop your scalpins in, you know you just have to bring it up to the level of all your little pegs, and that should give you a nice level base. This is scalpins. So as you can see, it's full of big stones, small stones, grit. It's quite slimy in texture. It's basically old bits of road, old bits of stone that have been crushed up and that then is what we're going to put down as our base layer. And because it's so compactable, it's going to give us a nice solid foundation. Uh, we don't want to skimp on this. Okay, now, be prepared to put your back into it. It is hard work, but you know what? The sense of achievement, once you've finished all of this and you can say, I did that, it'll make it worth it. That's all the scalpings down now. Nice level base. In fact, actually, you can still see a little bit of my original peg there. So all those pegs are throughout this area. Next thing we need to do now is compact it. Now, you might look a bit silly. Okay, bear with me. Baby steps, all right? Compressing down like a bit of a penguin, walking around, compressing it. This might take a while on your own, so call your mates in. Boys, you want give us a hand? Baby steps now, walking it in. This is really good for your glutes. You know what? I'll tell you what, lay in this, save yourself a day in the gym, save yourself a week in the gym. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, left a bit. You missed a bit in there, by the way. Next stage is our mortar mix. Now, mortar mix is basically just mixed up of sand and cement. Now, we just have to decide how we want to lay our patio. This is the pattern that I think is going to look best in our area. And the great thing about this pattern is there's no cuts, which is brilliant. So if you can try and work it out so you don't need any cuts, it saves in labor and time then. But what you might notice here is I've put my builder's line through again. Although we've got relatively clear line here that I could follow, if you just put your builder's line in, you know you've got a bang on straight line at the back and we can just follow through and then we'll find at the front we shouldn't be staggered. Now, when people lay down their mortar mix, some people lay a full bed, okay? Some people lay lines. I go for dots. The reason I go for dots is because when we lay the slab on it, there's more give. So it's, I'm, I have the ability to level it out slightly easier. Now, it's important that you check it horizontally and vertically as well, okay? Now, naturally in this garden, we've got a fall going down towards this corner. So on every slab I do, I'm just gonna let it drop ever so slightly in the bottom right corner. 
We're now at the final stages of our patio. It's been a long day's work, but look at what we've achieved. So it's definitely been worth it. I've left this floor now for about 24 hours. So I've returned to point it up. And it's only taken me about an hour. Let me show you what I'm doing. This here is my mortar mix. And this is about four parts sand to one part cement. Make it quite dry, but it's still wet enough that it's gonna to bond together. So just pushing it into the joints, try and keep it neat. But it's really important that we get a good bed in there. This does give your slabs a lot of support. So I've got that really compressed down. Just get yourself a sweeten brush. Just brush it away. Leave this again for another 24 hours to really let that mortar set before you go walking around on it. But, well, one weekend's project, what a gorgeous area. Within 24 hours, I'll be serving some cocktails on here. <laughs>